Welcome to this video podcast from the International Al Jolson Society. Starting as an audio podcast in 2007, this is a look into the works and legacy of the world's greatest entertainer, Al Jolson. An unrivaled star of stage, screen, and recording, his influences are felt even today, more than 60 years after his passing. The rumbles of war were on the horizon in 1941 when, on August 13, 1941, Al Jolson appeared on a radio program called The Treasury Hour, Millions for Defense. His segment closed the program with a sketch of his life story, a sketch which could clearly be seen as a precursor to The Jolson Story, his film biography which would be made in about five years. Even in this edited version of the clip, you can hear the magnitude of the star that would go on to entertain troops all over the world, the man who would be forever known as the world's greatest entertainer, Al Jolson. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to tell you an American story. This is a story of a newsboy who knew what he wanted and got it. It happened that what he wanted was a career as an entertainer. Change that one fact. And this becomes the story of countless other newsboys who got what they wanted. Boys who became bankers or boilermakers, plumbers or presidents, for the simple reason that our American way of life let them work out their own destiny. They were not subjected to regimentation, to discrimination of race and creed. Had they been, this story and a million other stories would never have happened. And so, let's turn back the clock. We won't tell you how many years. To a winter day in the city of Washington. On a corner, his threadbare clothing buttoned and safety pinned against the bitter wind, a newsboy hopefully shouts his wares to a homeward bound pedestrian. It's, uh, it's, uh, read all about the big fire. Extra, extra. Gee, Al, you still working? Oh, hello, Joe. Yeah, I gotta keep working, you see. I ain't made my 15 cents yet. I quit my car. It's too cold. I bet it's three below zero today. Well, if you keep yelling, you don't notice it. Extra, extra, read all about the big fire. Hey, extra. Boy, give me a paper. Hey, I'm mister. Oh, gee, thanks. Now I got my 15 cents. So what are you going to do with all that money, Sam? Me? I'm going over to Cranass Theater to see the show. You mean you stand out in the cold all day selling papers just to be able to go to the theater? Yeah. Don't you like the theater, mister? <laughs> Not that much. Oh, I think it's great. I'm going to be on a stage myself someday. You see, that's why I like to watch the actors. Oh, excuse me, mister. I'm in a hurry. Come on, Joe. If you got 50 cents, you can go with me. But, but, but this is this is kind of sudden. Oh, you ain't got the nerve, that's all. Is that so? I ain't got the nerve, eh? I'll show you. Say, lady, yeah. lady, yeah. I'd like to sing that song. Oh, we have a singer. All right, all right, quiet, boys. We're going to hear from a canary up in the gallery. Okay, Professor, give him the music. <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Send me a kiss by wire. Honey, my heart's on fire. If you refuse me, honey, you lose me. Then I'll be left alone. Oh, baby, telephone and tell me I'm your own. A 
that news boy, as we hardly need say, was Al Jolson. It was his first public appearance and almost his last. For Al's father, hearing of the incident, expressed his disapproval with a stern and singing hand. A little later, the manager of the show called at the Jolson home and offered Al the munificent sum of $5 a week to join the show. That settled it. When the show left Washington for New York, Al Jolson went along. But that show, like many another, came to a quick end. Well, kid, another flop. Yeah. Our show, show folded up thick, didn't it? Yeah, acting is a tough life. You know, this is my fifth time in New York and my fifth flop. They don't know good talent in New York when they see it. Well, the show's closed, kid. You better pack up your grip and go home. No, mister, I don't care what you say. You can't discourage me. I'm going to stay right here in New York. Listen, let me give you a tip. Go back home if you got the price. This town is so cold that if they didn't play cards here, the people wouldn't even know what a heart looks like. Well, anyway, I'm staying. I'm staying. I'm going to make good in this town. I just feel it in my bones. I'm going to be a star, you see. I'm going to have my name in life. Be galactic life. The would-be star trudged the streets looking for employment. Like many a discouraged man before and since, his footsteps turned toward the Bowery. Beat it, Chad. We don't sell to no miners. I, I don't want to buy anything. I just happened to notice you, 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 you got a piano player here, huh? Sure, we got a piano player. What of it? Well, well, I thought if you got a piano player, you could use a singer. We don't need no singer. Go on, beat it. Oh, wait a minute, mister. Couldn't you let me sing just one song for you? I ain't paying no money for singing. Beat it or I'll turn you out. Now, wait a minute, mister. Please. I don't want no money. I'll sing for nothing. Maybe if the crowd here likes my singing, they might throw me a couple of pennies. Mister, I'm hungry. I just want to make the price of a cup of coffee, that's all. Just a cup of coffee to warm me up inside. Yeah, okay, okay, kid. <laughs> Maybe we'll get a laugh. Hey, Mike. Yeah? Flavor this punk. Okay. What you gonna sing, kid? My gal, Sal. Play one verse and a chorus. I only know the chorus. That's what you're gonna sing, see? <laughs> They called her frivolous cell, a peculiar thought of a girl, with a heart that was mellow, and all around that fellow was my old pal. Your troubles, sorrow, and care. She was always willing to share a wild sort of devil, but dead on the level was my girl. He went on to triumph in Portville. Come on in here, come on in here. Now it's time to have a rack time band. Come on in here, come on in here. It's the best band in the land. They can play a bugle call like you never heard before. That's just the bestest band what I am. Oh, honey lamb, come on along, come on along. Let me take that side of hand. A shoot a man, a shoot a man. Who's the leader of the band? And if you want to hear that funny river, played in rack time, come on here. Come on, yeah. Alexander, right, I'm And then, through stardom and musical comedy. Bonnie, oh, I love you, oh, I love you, my dear old Bonnie. I 
que vas a subir Amanda Fulton See, I ain't even know my mammy Waiting for me, praying for me down By the party The folks up north Won't see me no more When I get to that party That's me I love you folks at home. Oh, Swanee, how I love you, how I love you, my dear old Swanee. The folks up north won't see me no more when I get to that party. Oh. And finally, motion pictures and radio. Here is the song for which Al Jolson will always be remembered. Everything seems lovely when you start to roam. The birds are singing the day that you stray. Wait until you are further away. Things won't be so lovely when you're all alone. Here's what you'll keep saying when you're far from home. Mammy, Mammy, the sunshine deep, the sunshine west. I know where the sunshine says, Mammy. This entire radio program is available on the website of the International Al Jolson Society, www.jolson.org. That's J-O-L-S-O-N dot O-R-G. Along with many other radio shows, Jolson recordings, video clips, and information about the world's greatest entertainer. Be sure to visit the site and listen for the next podcast. As Al Jolson said... In the words he made famous, You ain't heard nothing yet.